There are two types of immunity, active immunity and passive immunity. Active immunity. There are two types of active immunity, which are natural active immunity and artificial active immunity. There are also two types of passive immunity, natural passive immunity and artificial passive immunity. What is active immunity? Active immunity means that the lymphocytes produce their own antibodies as a response to stimulation by the antigens. Active immunity can remain for a long period of time. Natural active immunity Natural active immunity is acquired when someone recovers from an infection. Lymphocytes will produce antibodies as a response to these antigens. Memory cell will rapidly produce antibodies when the individual is attacked again by the same pathogen. The examples of the pathogens and the symptoms are chickenpox and measles. Artificial active immunity Artificial active immunity is acquired through immunization. Immunization is the process that stimulates immunity against a specific disease through vaccine injection. What is vaccine? Vaccine is a suspension of pathogens that are weakened, dead or non-virulent. Some examples of vaccines are COVID-19 vaccine and BCG vaccine. This is the graph of the antibody level in the blood after vaccination. Looking at the graph, we can see that the second injection need to be given to boost up the antibody level above the level of immunity as a protection against the diseases. Let me tell you about passive immunity in greater detail. Passive immunity means that the body receives antibodies from an external source, which means it does not produce its own antibodies. The antibodies are obtained from an external source. It does not persist and can only give temporary protection. Natural passive immunity or motherhood passive immunity is immunity passed along from mother to child. Before the child is born, the mother's antibodies diffuse through the placenta to protect the child from illness. The antibody also protect the baby for the first few months after birth through antibodies that are found in mother's milk or colostrum when breastfeeding. The artificial passive immunity is acquired through an anti-serum injection or serum that contains specific antibodies to fight specific antigen. It also gives immediate protection but is only for a short period of time. Examples of anti-serum are anti-tetanus, anti-rabies, and anti-serum for poisonous snake. Alright guys. For this part of video, we are going to compare about the artificial active impunity and the artificial passive impunity. So, we have a look at the table about similarities and differences. As you can see, they have two similarities about both immunity, which is protect the body from infection disease and involve interaction between antibodies and antigen. So, the conclusion is both of immunity has one mission, which is to protect our body from infectious disease by involve interaction between antibodies and antigen. For the differences, they have eight aspects to compare about both immunity. The first aspect is acquired through, which means cara how the immunity enter our body. For active immunity, it need to get through vaccine injection. And for passive immunity is antiserum injection. Second aspect is injected substance. In vaccine, which is active immunity, it has a substance of pathogen that are weakened, death, or non virulent. For antiserum, which is passive immunity, the serum is contained with specific antibodies. Third aspect is purpose. For the active immunity, it for the prevention and for passive immunity is a treatment or when immediate protection is required. 
For aspect is effect and for active immunity, it will not give immediate protection. While for passive immunity, it will give immediate protection. The fifth aspect is immunity period. For active immunity, it will pass a long period of time. And passive immunity is temporary and does not persist. The sixth aspect when injection is given. For active immunity, the injection is administered before being infected and for passive immunity injection is given in advance if there is a high risk of infection or immediately after being infected by a disease the aspect number seven is antibody for active immunity antibodies are produced by the lymphocytes while passive immunity antibodies are obtained from antiserum the eighth aspect is the need to give a second injection which is known as booster dose. The active immunity must be given to boost the level of antibodies above the level of immunity as a protection against the disease. But for the passive immunity, it is only given when the antibody level in the blood drops below the level of immunity and the patient is still affected by the disease. AIDS, Active Immunodeficiency Syndrome, is one of the health issues related to human immunity. HIV, Human Immunodeficiency Virus, attacks the human's immune system and causes AIDS. The lymphocyte is a type of white blood cell which helps the body to fight bacteria, viruses, and other toxins. HIV spreads in the lymphocyte and destroys them. Symptoms of this disease include chronic diarrhea and fungi infection which are only visible after 8 to 10 years. Individuals infected with HIV do not show any symptoms for the first few years, although HIV has been actively attacking the immune system. Since the immune system of the individual is already going to progressive destruction and is already weakened, the body is easily infected by other diseases. Finally, the immune system is paralyzed and the patient will die. Most people who have AIDS do not die from the virus itself. They die from opportunistic infections such as tuberculosis and salmonella infection. HIV enters the body through the transfer of body fluids such as blood and semen. Individuals can be infected by HIV through unprotected sexual relations with an infected individual and also through blood transfusion. They can also be infected when they share contaminated needles used to inject drugs or tattoo ink. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe and take care. Stay safe and stay at home.